Panama is found just north of the equator, which means that whenever you head down there, you can bank on it being hot and humid. Although kayak fishing in extreme heat isn't nearly as challenging as kayak fishing in the cold, you'll need to hit the water prepared because paddling can easily lead to heat exhaustion. And so that's what Jim Sammons is going to look at in this week's kayak fishing tip, brought to you by Ex Officio, clothing, footwear, and gear for the adventurous spirit. Your biggest concern will usually be avoiding heat stroke. And the trick is to avoid strenuous activity, avoid direct sunlight, staying hydrated, and helping your body's natural cooling process. Protecting yourself from direct sunlight starts with wearing sunscreen and a wide-brimmed hat. But here's where a lot of people go wrong. The natural thing to do when it's hot is to wear a t-shirt and shorts, but you're way better off wearing a long sleeve shirt and long pants because they protect you from the sun's harmful rays and they help with your body's cooling process. What exactly does that mean? Well, your body naturally removes excess heat by perspiring, and then you further cool down through the evaporation of that sweat. This means that your clothing should be loose and light and have good airflow to aid in the evaporation of that sweat. That's actually what first hooked me on Ex Officio clothing. They've got a great line of super light and breathable shirts. Everything from traditional fishing shirts to one of my favorites, the Neptune, which is like a super quick drying long sleeve t-shirt. They also have a whole bunch of different styles of light, loose fitting pants, like their Amphi convertible pants, which can be converted to shorts. On your feet, you can often go with a pair of flip-flops, but if you need to walk any distance over rough terrain, a good pair of water shoes are worth their weight in gold. The other key to staying cool in the heat is to stay hydrated, and that means drinking lots of water, because your body is going through it quick. With all the storage space you have in your kayak, there's really no excuse not to bring plenty of water out with you on your kayak. You'll be amazed how much better you'll feel paddling when you're fully hydrated. Avoiding heat strokes really not that complicated, but you do need to plan for it and think about it. Until next time, I'm Jim Sammons, and that's your ex officio kayak fishing tip of the week.